Greetings, this is Chaplain Bob Light of the World Ministries. Turn your King James Bibles to the book of Leviticus, chapter 19. This is going to be a fairly short Bible study. Uh, pay attention to the pictures, the images. I'm going to do a little bit of commentary here. Leviticus 19, starting in verse 26. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood. Uh, that's some kind of a Satanism type thing. Uh, drinking of blood. I mean, you know, look at Hollywood and their, you know, vampire themed movies of which there's quite a few. Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Uh, observing times, that's sort of like the uh, astrology, you know, they say, oh, well, you were born in Cancer or you were born in Taurus uh, or Aquarius or Pisces or whatever, you know, Sagittarius, Gemini. Yeah, don't do that. And enchantments. Have you ever heard of people doing chant chanting? Uh, it has reference to casting spells. Now, here's the verse that I really want you to pay attention to. Verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. What? Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Now, obviously, our heads are not exactly square, but the um, uh, Catholic monks during the Middle Ages used to do that haircut, you know, take a look at the picture. Uh, and they made the, you know, the round, round thing around their head. And, of course, you've got the, uh, the Jews that got their little beanie cap. And, of course, the Pope wears that too, that little beanie cap. So, ye shall not round the corner corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You know, a lot of uh, people like to cut themselves. I, I don't know about today, but when I was uh, a teen, a lot of girls would take a razor blade and cut their wrists. You know, they you know they weren't trying. They act like they were trying to kill themselves. But I mean, you know, if you wanted to kill yourself, uh, you know, just cutting your wrist isn't really going to do it. You want to kill yourself, you cut your the artery in your throat. Now that'll kill you quick. But uh, I, I, there are a lot of people made cuttings in their flesh when. Uh, when, uh, oh, I forget the name of him. He was a prophet of God. The uh, prophets of ba Baal, Baal were cutting themselves. Ah, oh. Elijah, that's who it was. Yeah, they were, they were cutting themselves. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. What is that? Tattoos, I think. So... Do not prostitute thy daughter. Now, that's some good advice. Uh, I don't think you should prostitute your daughter. To cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. God forbid a father does that to his daughter to make money, right? Ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. You know, you're talking devils, right? And to be familiar with them means that, you know, you're, well, you know, if you're familiar with somebody, it means you're, you're close to them. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, and honor the face of the old man, and fear thy God, I am the Lord. There's a verse in the Bible that says that uh, those that honor thy mother and thy father will live long. 
and those that, well, the reverse of that would be those that don't honor their mother and father, uh, their days are going to be short upon the earth. So maybe, and you know, the Lord picks our parents, you know, and he also picks the rulers of this world, even the wicked ones. So if you've got a godly people, you're going to have godly rulers. And if you've got ungodly people, you're going to have uh, the Bushes and the Clintons and the Obamas and the Trumps. And those of you that think Trump's going to be your savior, um, you're going to find out that's just not true. Uh, I, I always tell people, uh, we didn't, those of us that voted for Trump, we didn't vote for Trump. We voted against Hillary. But I don't know. But I know Trump is not going to be the savior of this country. He's not going to make America great again. Uh, when America gets on its hands and knees and repents for her wickedness and goes back to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and exalts his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ, then America will be great again, but not again, not until. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's go back. Verse 27, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Round the corners of your head. Yeah. You see that little haircut and those little beanie caps that the Jews and the uh, the Pope wears? Yeah, that's that's it. All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>